Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight. Welcome to the Avexia webinar series. Our topic for tonight's special webinar is Diagnostic Testing and Nutritional Protocols. My name is Joanne Iverson. I am the Director of Client Relations for Avexia Diagnostics and will be your host for this evening. Today, I have the distinct pleasure of being joined by an exciting guest, Dr. Dave Hogshead, who will be our presenter for this webinar. Dr. Dave is in full-time practice at the Restoration Healthcare Clinic in Fort Myers, Florida. His practice specializes in combining nutritional and herbal therapies with pulsed electromagnetic field therapy and hy hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Um, his nutrition lectures have been featured at the University of Miami, Miller School of Medicine, Palmer Chiropractic College, Life University, and Northwestern Chiropractic College. Um, he has served as a clinical consultant and seminar speaker for Standard Process since 2003. His seminars are best known for simplifying clinical nutrition, herbal medicine, and laboratory blood tests. These inspiring nutrition seminars focus on giving healthcare professionals the tools they need to successfully integrate nutrition and laboratory testing into practice. Joining Dr. Hogshead tonight will be Dr. Wayne Sedano, our Director of Clinical Support and Education at Avexia Diagnostics. Additionally, Dr. Sedano is the Director of Integrative Medicine Education for the College of Integrative Medicine and lectures and teaches internationally. Before we begin, just a bit of housekeeping. We encourage participation, so if you have a question, you may submit your questions in the questions field in the right-hand area of the interface. We will answer submitted questions towards the end of the presentation. If your questions are not answered this evening, you will surely receive an answer by email within a day or two. This webinar will also be recorded and available to everybody uh, within the next couple days. Without further delay, I will now turn the webinar over to Dr. Hogshead and welcome. Thank you, Joanne, and thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in tonight. I see we have really great attendance, and that's just so exciting. This is such a huge privilege to uh, give my first ever webinar for Avexia, and it's also, I would say, probably the biggest challenge I've ever had for a webinar ever, because there's a lot, a lot that Avexia offers, and even though this may seem like a really, you know, that webinar, you know, over an hour we're going, we're going close to two probably tonight. I'm still not going to get even close to everything that Avexia offers you and your practice into this webinar. What my goal is, is just what this description says here, the essential lab test and services that they offer. You know, I've been using them for uh, several years now, and I, I just told them today on the phone, I've only just scratched the surface of everything, but I can tell you it has been the biggest game changer in my practice uh, of, of anything in the realm of laboratory testing. So before I tell you my story, I'm going to turn the tables and introduce, reintroduce Joanne to you, uh, because one of the biggest things I'm going to encourage you to use Avexia for one of the one of the biggest reasons why I absolutely love this company, and I don't think there's anybody else like them and you're gonna hear this from everybody that uses them, is there is nobody that offers the customer service that Avexia does with these uh, you know, blood chem services out there. Nobody. Um, <laughs> skipping ahead a little bit, we're gonna be talking about you know, some of the great price panels. Uh, price is another reason I'm gonna recommend you use Avexia. But I just wanna highlight uh, a story about why Avexia, the customer service, and Joanne specifically are just so great to work with. It was uh, about six months ago, I had uh, done a standard process seminar. I was talking about Avexia and there was a doctor in the audience that did a lot of blood chemistry with a different group. It was another discounted blood testing group and you know, good company, good prices. And he said, you know, I, I don't see a panel from Avexia that matches this panel I've been using. It's It's got everything but the kitchen sink for a complete checkup, but it's got a lot of extra thyroid tests in it. And so I contacted uh, Joanne the next day and I said, look, his doctor has this big panel. Uh, it's about $265. 
you know, what could we, you know, could we shave a few dollars off if we put something together, you know, that it was comparable? Well, it was literally two days later, she had an official uh, panel for standard process practitioners. It was every single thing that doctor wanted for $70 less. And it, now it's called the Standard Comprehensive Thyroid Panel. Uh, it was 265 from this other company and Avexia shaved it down to 195. And that's just the highlight story that, that just really exemplifies the type of customer service that Avexia has. They love to help you and they never you know, treat it like it's a burden. It, especially one of the things I noticed early on is if you're technologically challenged like me, to put it mildly, uh, if, if you consider yourself a tech moron like I consider myself, jump in, the water's great. This is a high tech company, but the customer service to help you through these things and you know, calling Joanne, telling her, hey, I'm stuck on this part with you know, uh, uh, registering a new patient or, or ordering a panel. She's just phenomenal to work with and uh, really, really a privilege to work with. So my Avexia story and a lot of you listening who have already used and love Avexia, uh, we have Melissa Taylor to thank for that. This is, this is Melissa you see here. And talk about another essential website for your practice to build your practice. Uh, wholefoodpractice.com. So I have Melissa to thank for finding Avexia, or I actually say rediscovering Avexia, because I actually came across Avexia about seven years ago, and I got a membership, but there were a lot of things that were different. Uh, one, they were using Quest instead of LabCorp at that time, and the ordering menu, especially, again, for a tech moron like myself, was uh, quite a bit more difficult to use, and I, I didn't realize, uh, you know, that I had options for this great customer service. So I tried it for a while and I just kind of gave up after a while. And it was about three years ago, I was about to do a seminar out in Melissa's territory in Utah, standard process seminar. And a couple months before that, she said, hey, do you use Avexia? And I said, well, I was, but you know, kind of ran into these obstacles. And, and she said, you really need to take another look at Avexia because it's a lot easier and there's a lot more options now. And so I did, and she was absolutely right. And it was actually at that seminar, she uh, was so passionate about getting this information to her doctors that uh, we got a, a Joanne out there too. And it was really listening to that presentation uh, from Joanne at this seminar that Melissa was hosting where the light bulb really went off for me that, yes, even though there's other discounted lab test services out there, there's really nothing like Avexia that's this complete. So I'm going to be referencing uh, Chris and Melissa Taylor's website, Whole Food Practice, quite a bit tonight because it is a complete resource in itself, uh, not just for learning blood chemistry with some of the resources we have on here, but for standard process education going forward. This is my favorite website, all-in-one website that's always building, always improving, always adding new resources, much like Avexia. Uh, <laughs> in fact, the, these two websites are very similar because neither is ever satisfied. And I say that as a very high compliment. Avexia and Whole Food Practice, they're always looking for better new innovations to help your practice grow. And we're gonna talk about the clinical nutrition certification course uh, that is just phenomenal through Whole Food Practice and a blood chem course that we're offering on that now that's going to be a recap of a lot of things from tonight with much more. Uh, so check them out. And we've got their contact info at the end of the slides tonight. So one of the things uh, Melissa uh, from Whole Food Practice was so instrumental in doing was just building this bridge between standard process and Avexia because there really wasn't one before. And there were some practitioners that knew about them, but uh, it still really is not well known. And so because of Melissa working with Joanne, we got this discount code uh, developed. When you register for your account with Avexia, if you use this discount code standard, it's going to do two really big things for you. Number one, it's going to waive the account registration fee. Um, so that would normally be, if you didn't have the uh, discount code like this, it would be $250 to set up an account. When you use the discount code standard, it takes that away. There's a 
fifty dollar uh, maintenance membership fee, but I think you're going to see about five minutes into this webinar, it is well, well worth that. Uh, ridiculously low cost with this. But the second big thing that you're going to be even more interested in with that standard discount code is when you use that code specifically, it's going to make sure that when you order a functional report through Avexia, which we're going to really dig into tonight, it's going to give you standard process product recommendations. And these are phenomenal. Again, we have Chris and Melissa Taylor uh, to thank for this. They were the ones that uh, initially put together these standard process product recommendations in the functional report. And we're actually updating those recommendations to make them better and better with some of the new products that we're going to be discussing tonight that are going to be in the new functional report uh, coming very soon. So very exciting updates. Uh, that we're making just from the standard process product recommendation side. So this is from the Whole Food Practice website. Uh, you can actually get your Avexia account straight from that website, wholefoodpractice.com. And what you're going to see is just kind of a summary of what Avexia is. Now, with that standard discount code, when you register with that code, on the left, you're going to see the panels that Avexia made just for standard process practitioners. And we're going to discuss some of these in detail tonight. Um, we're not going to be able to go through all of them. Most of them are pretty self-explanatory. But we're going to highlight what I think are the truly essential standard panels for your practice. And skipping right to the punchline, if you feel overwhelmed with blood chemistry, and especially it's very easy to feel overwhelmed with all the different blood tests that Avexia offers, we're going to go right to the one that is the can't go wrong starting place. And that is the standard comprehensive panel. That's the second panel that you see down below. And, and I'm going to build the case for you of why, you know, no matter how new you are to blood chemistry, if you've been doing it forever, for most new patients, this is just the ultimate can't go wrong starting place. But a lot of other fun panels that they made just for us that I think are really going to get you excited about if you're not doing any blood chemistry, jumping in. And if you're doing a little bit, but know you need to be doing more uh, to, to really just build your confidence. So in the middle, you're gonna, gonna see uh, the functional health report. This is another thing that if you use Avexia for no other reason than just to get the functional health report, even without the standard process product recommendations, even if it didn't give those simple standard process protocols, it is well, well worth it. Now, the most amazing thing about this, and there's a lot that just blows my mind about Avexia, but this functional report that we're going to look at is $5 extra. And I, I want you to remember that because we're going to see how in-depth this functional report and, and all the different interpretation, the simplifying, uh, and, the, and of course, the product recommendations the functional health report is the ultimate thing to help you overcome that obstacle that you may have with blood tests, which is it's so complex. And, you know, I'm, I'm ordering these panels, but I'm getting all these results back and I don't know how to interpret them and I don't know where to start. Or I know somebody's really sick, but I'm ordering a panel and everything looks normal. So I don't know what to do with it. You're going to see that the functional health report. <laughs> that $5 extra obliterates every one of those obstacles that's probably been keeping you back from utilizing blood chemistry. And then they give a shout out again to just the customer service that, that we're going to keep referencing. Um, so with that, let's dig in. First, before we dig into the specifics of Avexia, there might be some of you listening tonight that you're not doing any blood chemistry. And there's, you know, we've all had objections to it. And it's one of my biggest regrets in practice is that, you know, I, I waited a long time to really utilize blood chemistry in my practice. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that can keep you back or hold you back from just jumping full tilt into using lab tests in your practice. And some of those obstacles right off the bat may be expense, you know, the cost of blood chemistry. And you're going to see that. Again, Avexia completely removes that obstacle. You're not going to find any better discounted pricing for lab tests than, than through Avexia. Uh, some of your 
uh, roadblocks again may have been, it's too difficult to report or, or to interpret. The functional health report completely helps you overcome that obstacle. Um, why use blood chemistry in the first place? Number one, it's the best new patient screening tool. So blood chem may not always be the perfect tool to identify the health level of a patient, but it's always the most important tool to identify the disease level of a patient. And, and there is a difference, you know, between the two. So, you know, there's subtle health imbalances that maybe a blood test won't catch. But when you've got a truly sick, in trouble, crisis patient with a health emergency, you know, liver failure, kidney disease, diabetes, uh, inflammation out of control, infection, there's nothing better than simple blood chemistry for identifying those imbalances. The second one is if, if you do blood tests for no other reason than this one, this is it. There's no other type of testing that has more credibility, not just with new patients, but any patients than laboratory blood testing. Now, this webinar is specifically for the standard process audience, right? So one of the things that keeps the standard process practitioners specifically from utilizing blood chemistry to the maximum is that we love muscle testing techniques. I, I love muscle testing. I do muscle testing you know, every day in my practice. And I actually got into standard process because of muscle testing. You know, a Dr. Versendahl seminar was my very first exposure. And I wouldn't trade muscle testing techniques for anything. There's so much great information you can get from it. But it's not a perfect end-all diagnostic tool. And what you're going to find is that you need, if, if you do muscle testing, there's so much good information you can get from it. But there's a lot of information that you need to combine from blood chem to get the optimal picture of what's going on with your patient. And the more of these assessment tools you have at your disposal, whether it's blood test, muscle test, symptom survey analysis, you know, the dietary intake log that you can get from standard process, the better you can help your patients. So that brings us to the third reason. Blood tests really are the best way to determine several deficiencies and health issues that no matter what else you use, like symptom analysis, muscle testing, Blood is always going to be the most objective, accurate assessment tool. And a good example I always like to use is vitamin D. You know, there's no one symptom or one visual observation clue or perfect muscle test for vitamin D deficiency. What's the ultimate, easiest, inexpensive way to know 100% somebody's vitamin D deficient? A simple $20 blood test. You know, that's it. Uh, anemia, same way. So again, blood tests aren't perfect uh, for identifying every deficiency and every health issue, but there's some things blood can identify better than any other assessment tool that's out there. And number four, it really is the most objective tool to determine whether you're succeeding or failing with your nutritional protocols. I mean, it's great to send somebody out the door with a standard process protocol and two weeks later they come back and say, oh, my digestion's doing so much better, my energy, my sleep. That's great. But blood is the ultimate gold standard, you know, to see if things are moving in the right direction. And that can go both ways. If they're feeling better quickly, you need blood to show them that, hey, it's great you're feeling better, but your insulin is through the roof. You've still got big time insulin resistance. You still need to stay on this metabol complex and Cataplex GTF or the new glucose assist product from Standard Process to, to get this under control. And you know it keeps them motivated to stay on their supplement program. On the flip side, we all work with very complex patients that have multiple health issues, right? So it's not uncommon that we can give them the best supplement protocol in the world but they come back three weeks, a month later, and they say, I just don't feel any better. A simple before and after blood test can be the ultimate tool to help them hang on and give them hope to show them that even though they're not feeling better, they're doing better. They are better. Blood can prove that very, very easily. 
And going a step further, there's nothing like the functional health report from Avexia. Side-by-side -side comparisons, if they had a blood test six months ago, when you order that functional health report, you're going to be able to see side-by-side -side the improvement or the lack of improvement. And I'm telling you, this is the ultimate, ultimate patient compliance tool uh, for, for people staying on their supplements and, and the diet programs that you're recommending. So that's my case for doing blood chemistry, but now let's make the case for Avexia specifically, because again, there are other discounted blood test services out there. And you know, there's, there's companies offering good prices. What I'm gonna say very definitively is that there's no other company as comprehensive and complete as Avexia. So number one reason I'm gonna recommend you use Avexia in your practice is comprehensive. <laughs> comprehensive in a lot of areas. And this slide shows the comprehensiveness of just the lab tests that they offer. So we're gonna focus mostly tonight on the lab core blood test. But once you get a handle on that, you're gonna see the sky's the limit of what's available through Avexia for functional uh, medicine testing in your practice. So if you're into saliva testing, you've got multiple options, ZRT laboratory. If you do stool analysis, you've got Genova Diagnostics and others. Uh, if you do food sensitivity testing or you're interested in that, you've actually got four to five different companies uh, that you can choose from from Avexia. Now, that may sound overwhelming in itself, and that's why, skipping ahead, uh, one of the reasons I'm going to recommend Avexia to you is the full-time, uh, Joanne mentioned Dr. Sedano, any of these questions you have about these labs, you have free access to email him at any point to ask him the differences between these labs, when to choose one or the other, or say, look, I'm looking at doing, I'm really interested in doing heavy metal toxicity testing. You know, how should I get started? Or, uh, you know, leaky gut, food allergy, mold, mycotoxin. That's something we all need to be doing more in our practice. Um, we're going to show you some of the webinars that are available for that now. But he is a phenomenal resource to help you sift through all of these different companies uh, that are available. Uh, just looking at some of them, some of you are big fans of Dutch Test with the urine uh, testing for a hormone analysis. Avexia picked them up recently. So, uh, you know, the, the biggest reason I put this slide in is to show that Avexia is truly one-stop shopping for any type of testing you want to do in your practice. You know, the blood is my favorite part, but some of you are going to utilize a lot more than just the blood. Uh, if you want to get into genetic testing, you've got one, two, three, I think there might be a fourth in there, at least three uh, genetic testing laboratories uh, to choose from. Uh, so again, the sky's the limit. And you know, a year from now, we could probably add, they're probably going to have five more labs on here. Some of you recognize the Omega Quant uh, from Standard Process. You can order that from standardprocess.com. You can also get it through Avexia to assess omega-3, omega-6 ratios in the blood. Uh, York test, another food sensitivity. Uh, doctor's data, many of you have used that for years for hair analysis, for uh, toxicity levels, mineral analysis. So that's what's great about Avexia is when you get a membership with Avexia, you don't have to get all these separate memberships with all these other companies. You can just order everything from the Avexia menu. That's such a great luxury. So the second big reason, we've got comprehensive is the first reason for Avexia. For me, this is what got me, was the price, Avexia prices. You cannot beat the prices Avexia offers for these blood panels. Now again, there's other companies offering good prices, but nobody's gonna beat these prices. And it's lower than anything I've seen out there. So this is just one example. This is a panel that they made when you use that discount code STANDARD to register to get your account. This is called the STANDARD BASIC panel. And it's a little bit more than basic. It's pretty complete in its own right. This is everything that you would get 
in a, you know, a yearly medical checkup and truly more than you would get in uh, a yearly medical checkup now. So it's got your CBC with differential, you know, to assess anemia, immune system status, your comprehensive metabolic panel, your blood sugar, your liver function, kidney function, lipid panel, magnesium is included in this, a complete thyroid panel with TSH, T4, T3 uptake, and then a complete urinalysis. $45 for that complete panel. Now, for those of you that know what lab tests cost today, if insurance isn't covering it, you know this is a phenomenal price. Because if insurance wasn't covering this and, and somebody had to pay out of pocket for all this, it would be about $400, uh, possibly more than that. But most people that I've talked to that really know blood prices, they say, oh yeah, that's $400 easy you know, if insurance wasn't covering that. So we're gonna see example after example after example of the phenomenal uh, prices. And if that's the only reason you use Avexia, great. You know, don't let price, cost should not be an obstacle keeping you back from using blood chemistry in your practice anymore because Avexia is completely uh, taking care of, of that. And the cool thing, you know, with uh, prices going up with everything out there now, you know, it, it just seems like every product that we consume today, the prices are always going up. It's typically the norm for you to see prices go down with these Avexia blood tests, because the more of us that join and the more of us that use these tests, they're able to offer us more and more bulk discounts. That's what I love about so many people tuning into this webinar tonight. It means maybe the prices will go down even more. So it, it's just phenomenal. Another reason I'm gonna encourage you to use Avexia, and this is a big one, besides the comprehensive blood tests that are available, Besides the cost, the discounted cost, there is no better service for blood chemistry education. So if the obstacle that's been holding you back from doing blood chemistry has been, it's just so overwhelming. You know, I just feel so unworthy to do blood tests. Avexia has got everything you need to build your confidence. And I always like to say in my seminars that, you know, the and this was my problem. This was my obstacle. What kept me back so long from doing blood chemistry was this perfectionistic mindset of feeling like I had to know everything about blood chemistry before jumping in and doing it. And what I realized was it's the exact opposite. The best way to learn blood chemistry is to do it. <laughs> Get yourself an account, start ordering panels, start with yourself. And the more blood tests you order, the more comfortable you become, the more you naturally learn. When you see that there's a blood test out of range, it makes you curious to learn what that means. But Avexia has so many different videos, articles. Uh, this is one of my favorite resources. Uh, it's just an overview of the top 10 conventional blood tests to get started with. So things like the CBC with differential, the comprehensive metabolic panel, vitamin D, T3, T4, homocysteine ferritin, C-reactive protein. What does that measure? Inflammation. This is something everybody should have in their basic panel. And one of the reasons I love the standard comprehensive panel is it includes all of these. And as a little side note, when you start doing this and you know the C-reactive protein is just one of the tests included, you find out everybody's walking around out there with some kind of inflammation, even if they're not in pain. So what's our most popular best-selling supplement from Standard Process and Medier? Tumor Forte. And you're going to see validation and vindication for putting every single one of your patients on Tumor Forte when you start doing the standard comprehensive panel. Because it's not just going to be C-reactor protein that's high. It's going to be homocysteine you know, which is very damaging and inflammatory to the blood vessels, ferritin. And what's not listed on here, one of the biggest reasons I recommend that standard comprehensive panel, fasting insulin is included in that test. And we're going to see why that's the most underutilized blood test in America today. But it's one of the most important, and it's one of the best 
for patient education of why they need dietary changes and some of the supplements that we have to offer. So if you're brand new to doing blood tests, something like this is a great start just to get your feet wet and get comfortable with the basic blood test. And then on the flip side, uh, this is an overview of the top 10 specialty tests. So things like the food sensitivities, uh, we'll talk about a couple of those options tonight. Hormone tests, uh, like adrenal salivary hormones, toxicity tests, nutritional tests. And one of the labs uh, that Avexia partners with is SpectraCell. And if you're interested in doing individual nutrient testing, like you just want to test every nutrient known to man, CoQ10, fatty acids, iodine, B vitamin, zinc, you know, everything possible in the blood, that's SpectraCell Laboratories. You can test every nutrient imaginable uh, with that panel. Uh, so, you know, great option if, if that's what you're interested in. Uh, SIBO testing and leaky gut, a lot of great leaky gut uh, testing options through Avexia. Uh, COVID antibody, you can do a lot of testing with that. Um, we mentioned genetics, it's not listed on here, but genetic testing on and on. So if you feel overwhelmed with the specialty labs, something like this is a great place to start to build your confidence. And along those lines, one of the things that I have not taken advantage of nearly enough, it's going to be my both resolution for the end of the year and New Year's resolution is to really dive into all of the webinars that are available on the Avexia website. Again, it is a complete blood chemistry training resource just from all the webinars that you see on here. Now, what you see pictured is just the webinars available for food sensitivity testing. So you see multiple laboratories sponsoring uh, these webinars. There's the York test, uh, ELISA, uh, ACT Biotechnologies, uh, KBMO, and that is the one that we're going to re recommend as a starting place as a basic food intolerance test because it not only is an easy, just drop a blood that's going to give you a list of over 170 foods, but it's also going to test for zonulin, for leaky gut, and candida included in that. Uh, so great uh, webinar. If you want a really good starting webinar for food intolerance, go right to this one in the middle, how to implement food sensitivity and zonulin testing in your practice. Phenomenal webinar. And here's another one. Uh, again, one of my, <laughs> I was kind of forced two weeks ago to start becoming an expert in this area because this is going to make up a huge area of my practice. I'm in Fort Myers, Florida. And a couple of weeks ago, we had just a little minor weather event you may have seen in the news, uh, Hurricane Ian. Uh, I was the direct hit town for Hurricane Ian, Fort Myers, Florida. And so many of my patients, massive amount of flooding. Now, even before the hurricane, you know, we, we have major mold issues in, in our houses here. We just have the perfect, you know, climate for mold and, and mycotoxins. So it was like already on my radar that I was like, I, I really need to get more into this mold and mycotoxin testing. And then Hurricane Ian two weeks ago, I was like, all right, that's it. That's, that's my uh, sign that I really, really need to jump into this more. So again, I was like, okay, what, what does Avexia have for help me, to help me jump into this? So you go to the webinar and you see how I highlighted mold and then real-time laboratories is the main laboratory that you're gonna wanna use for mold and mycotoxin testing with your patients. They have a beautiful urine, complete urine mycotoxin test. So, you know, mold is everywhere, but some people react to it much uh, more severely. Uh, they have a, a bigger exposure and they have a bigger sensitivity. So real-time laboratories is a phenomenal resource to show you what the stress level is of the mold and mycotoxins with your patients. And of course, you know I can't do a seminar without talking about turmeric forte every five minutes. And this is just one more reason to give turmeric forte or validation for turmeric forte for every one of your patients because so many people have 
mold mycotoxin stress, Tumor Forte is the most important supplement, in my opinion, to protect your patients from some of the devastating effects of these mycotoxins. Let's talk about one specific area for the brain. You know, these mycotoxins, uh, mold mycotoxins are devastating for brain health, you know, brain fog, confusion, depression, anxiety. That turmeric and forte, the curcumin infused into fenugreek, there's no other turmeric out there that gets across the blood brain barrier better than that formula. So again, this is just one more reason to give that formula to every one of your patients. So many of your patients are struggling with this. So in Florida, I just give it to everybody, but yeah, that's one of my new resolutions now more than ever with the hurricane is I'm gonna be starting, starting doing a lot more testing in this area. Uh, this is the KBMO food intolerance test. And you can see it's just beautiful, simple, color-coded. Everybody's got food sensitivities, but this prioritizes what the biggest stressors are. You know, the red are the big ones uh, to avoid. And you can see, surprise, surprise, wheat, multiple wheat. Uh, red flags here, egg yolk, egg white, one of the biggest sensitivities. And the other thing that, that they will test in this, let me see if I've got it on the next slide. Yes, is zonulin. So this is what's so beautiful about this KBMO uh, blood spot food sensitivity test is it automatically checks for it, the most important leaky gut blood marker, which is zonulin. And we've got so many great new tools from Standard Process now to deal with this. One of the biggest ones may surprise you is the new GI Adsorb, the Zeolite product. So that is the ultimate binder in the digestive tract for toxins like mold mycotoxins, uh, heavy metal toxins, uh, food poisoning. But also there's been more and more studies recently of Zeolite actually helping to heal leaky gut. So when you see this positive zonulin, you're definitely going to want to use GI Adsorb. I'll tell you another tool that might surprise you when you do this test and you see the zonulin come back positive. The new SP Children's Immune. That's a phenomenal leaky gut product for three reasons. Number one, it's a whole food vitamin C supplement. It's got strawberry, elderberry, Camu Camu, and vitamin C is, is a whole food vitamin C. It's a very critical nutrient for healing the gut, strengthening those tight junctions uh, in the epithelial layer in the digestive tract. But more importantly, in that SP Children's Immune, that's our only colostrum supplement. Now, we do have colostrum in the whey protein shake, but as far as a concentrated colostrum supplement, it's SP Children's Immune. And that in and of itself, is phenomenal, critical, leaky gut support to turn this situation around. Uh, and to some degree, candida. But third, it's got the 2FL prebiotic to feed all the friendly flora in the digestive tract. So what, what's so exciting about these times now with the new products from Standard Process and Avexia is they just mesh together so beautifully. These panels that we have from Avexia really identify the need and prove to ourselves and more importantly to our patients, the value of these new products like GI Adsorb, uh, like uh, SP Children's Immune, as we're gonna see the new glucose assist and metabolic complex with all of the metabolic syndrome, insulin resistance, blood tests uh, that we have at our disposal. And so going back here one more time, you know, <laughs> everybody has, food sensitivities, food intolerance. And again, to be a broken record, you're gonna hear it over and over tonight. This is one more reason, if you need more evidence why every one of your patients should be on tumor forte, do one of these food intolerance tests, whether it's from the KBMO or the biotech or the York test, any of those food sensitivity options that they have, everybody's got a food intolerance. And most people are not willing to completely clean up and change their diet. So because tumor forte is our most potent inflammation modulation tool, it doesn't fix food allergies, it doesn't fix food intolerances, but it minimizes the stress, the inflammatory stress that any of these food intolerances create in the body. So 
another reason besides, so we've got Avexia being the most comprehensive resource for any blood test you want. They're the best for prices. They're the best for education with the webinars that are available. But let's take it a step further for reaching out for clinical questions. Nobody else does something like this, has a full-time true blood chem expert on staff just waiting for your questions of when you get stuck in interpreting a blood test or if you need some advice of what blood test you should order for a patient. Uh, Dr. Wayne Sedano, uh, just absolute expert in any of these areas, but a great teacher to simplify these things. So he's got so many resources. You can take advantage of uh, webinars that he's done. Uh, I highly recommend this one. If you're new to blood chemistry, he's done an eight part series just on the basics of jumping in. But you're also gonna see really cool resources from him of short videos like up at the top here, these little clinical pearls of giving an overview of the Avexia cardiovascular blood tests that are available. There are phenomenal cardiovascular risk uh, panels and individual blood tests. And he gives you a nice simple overview of these. So another one of the things that I just, do not take advantage of like I should, is reaching out with, as you're going to see on the next slide, free, it's completely free to email him anytime you want for getting your questions answered with anything with a blood test. Now, if your questions or your problems are a little more involved, then you can actually, uh, for a very reasonable fee, set up an appointment with him, uh, you know, with a telephone or video conference call. But if you just have a quick question, you know, it's just been bugging you, a gray area, something that's just been confusing, shoot him an email and you're going to get a really uh, expert response to that. And if that wasn't enough, there's more. <laughs> it's overwhelming. And like I said, even tonight, we're not going to do it justice, all the things that Avexia offers but you can get customized marketing for your practice. So let's say you get really on fire about doing these blood tests or these specialty tests and you wanna get the word out to your patients, whether it's online or with printed materials, Avexia can help you customize the educational resources that they already have available and just put your logo, your practice name, uh, make it very easy in that department. And then this, <laughs> I just have to laugh at this one. Because if all that wasn't enough, uh, yeah, just as a little side bonus resource, hey, do you need to hire somebody in your practice? Avexia will do that for you. Yes, everything that you see here, they have a practice management solution service that if you're looking for somebody for your front desk, a health coach, registered nurse, office manager, medical assistant, nurse practitioner, a lot of chiropractors are uh, getting nurse practitioners in their office for multiple reasons. Registered dietitian or another chiropractor, Avexia will actually help you do that and take care of all of the headache of that uh, for you. So just phenomenal, phenomenal stuff that's available. And again, not even scratching the surface. Uh, Joanne uh, is gonna be able to answer any of the questions you have about these different services that we're offering, but she's gonna be able to tell you about services that we haven't even mentioned tonight. So with that, let's just dig into ordering basic blood tests. So a lot of you listening, you know, you may have been uh, to my seminars and you got registered for an account, but you just always had that roadblock of, oh, it's so complicated getting started. So I really hope tonight, and I really hope just the reminder, you know, that you have Joanne available to help you just jump in, you know, call her, get into your uh, uh, dashboard, log into your account, and she'll just walk you through step-by-step step if necessary, but you may not even need to reach out to her because there's a great video on the dashboard right when you get into your account that just says how to register a patient and order a test, and it walks you through step-by-step step how you get started with this. So with that discount code standard, uh, these are the standard process test available for practitioners like us uh, that, again, we're not going to dig into all of these in depth tonight, 
but this is what the menu looks like. So when you see something that's interesting to you, to the left, you just click that plus sign and it'll add it into your shopping cart. Now, when you get to the end, we're gonna go more into placing an order, but this is another thing I love about Avexia that I've never seen in another you know, uh, discounted blood test service. When you get your order put together, they'll give you an option of either you paying for it and then you charging the patient or the patient direct service, which I absolutely love. Because when you, when you do this, it'll send the requisition form right to the patient. They pay Avexia directly. They do everything to get their own, basically their own portal through Avexia. But it shows the patient that, you know, you're not just doing this as, you know, some way to make, you know, money in your practice, that you just want them to have good, inexpensive blood tests. And if you just don't want to mess with the extra charging the patient or, you know, you already have the patients picking up supplements or they've had an, uh, some type of therapy in your office and you know the bill is already going to be somewhat high that day and you don't want to add a blood test bill to that, just do the patient direct and the patient deals 100% with Avexia. Phenomenal, smooth system. So we'll keep coming back to those basic concepts, but just really want to focus tonight again on the standard comprehensive panel being the can't go wrong, always the best starting place. If you don't know what panel to order, especially for a new patient, you know, you've got somebody with a lot of issues sitting in front of you uh, and you don't know where to go. This is beautiful starting place. $143. Again, if you were going to get all of these blood tests and insurance wasn't covering them, this would be well over a thousand dollars of blood test. And that's just a conservative estimate. So it's everything that we saw included from the standard basic panel. And I love that standard basic panel. If you know uh, somebody, if, if you just want the bare basics with a patient to see if their health is going down the tubes, you know, to see if their what their liver function is like, their kidney function, their blood sugar, That's that standard basic panel for $45 is great. But when you want to see a complete picture, uh, especially for the modern American patient, that's what this test has a lot included that they're never going to get, even with their medical checkups. So it's going to have everything from a basic checkup panel, but the extras that make this panel so unique and, and so important for your practice would be things like the hemoglobin A1C included. What is that measuring? The last three months of their blood sugar. So not just the night before, but what's their blood sugar been looking like for the last three months? How has high glucose, how much damage has been done to the tissues from that? Homocysteine. One of the biggest shocks to me when I started doing the standard comprehensive panel regularly with my patients was how everybody has high homocysteine nobody is methylating properly and you know there's all, there's all sorts of great methylation tests and you know avexia provides the mthfr gene and lots of different ways to go about that but when it's all said and done you've got somebody with high homocysteine for whatever reason they're not methylating properly and that's included in this test and one of the biggest things that this is going to drive home to you is that everybody everybody is deficient in whole food B vitamins. And this is one, when I started doing uh, the standard comprehensive panel with all of my patients, I also started giving Cataplex B and now Cataplex B core to every one of my patients because you just see so many different blood tests show up in here that keep screaming out the need for whole food B vitamins like Cataplex B core. More on that later. Uh, because we're actually going to see that in a functional health report. One of the most important things about the standard comprehensive panel is it includes high sensitivity, that's what the HS stands for, C-reactive protein, so inflammation. Everybody's walking around with chronic inflammation, right? And again, this is why we give everybody tumor forte, fish oil, things like buckwheat juice, Ceruta Plus and Easy Mag, which we'll talk about more later. So. When you've got a patient that's got joint pain, swelling, you know, you don't need a blood test like C-reactive protein to tell you they got inflammation, 
But what blood tests like this show you is the objective severity of the inflammation. And you're going to be shocked to see how high that C-reactor protein can get. The optimal range for this is one. It shouldn't be above one in a blood test. But I've seen patients with C-reactor protein of 30, 50, and I mean, it's just through the roof. And along those lines, very powerful before and after comparisons, proving to them how powerful things like turmeric forte, fish oil, and Ceruta Plus can be to get inflammation under control. So I love that C-reactor proteins in this panel, but this next test is the biggest reason why I keep saying the standard comprehensive panel is the can't go wrong starting place for the modern American patient. And that is, it includes fasting insulin. I am convinced that this is the most underutilized blood test in America. Nobody is having this tested. They may be getting really comprehensive in, in-depth testing, but they're not getting fasting insulin. And it's, it's so ironic because it's one of the most common blood chemistry imbalances you see in the modern American patient. Why? Because everybody has insulin resistance. Everybody's got metabolic syndrome. Everybody's pre-diabetic or diabetic. And again, you don't need a fasting insulin test necessarily to tell you somebody's got sugar and insulin problems. When they walk into your office with belly fat, you know, you see they're overweight, you know they've got sugar and insulin problems. But that fasting insulin is the only way to objectively tell the severity of the insulin resistance. And it's the only way to tell you whether they just need simple dietary changes, like you know, going low carb and you know, doing some uh, basic nutritional support, like uh, you know, buckwheat products, fish oil, turmeric forte, or whether they need the really aggressive supplements we have, like Metabol Complex, the new Glucose Assist, Cataplex GTF, Gymnema, only things like getting a uh, uh, blood objective fasting insulin will tell you that information. So I, th that's really my favorite reason to just go right to this panel as a starting place. Lots of other things in here. There's magnesium, a lot of iron testing, both ferritin and iron total, total iron binding capacity. You see a lot of people with high ferritin out there. Uh, a lot of that's wrapped up with blood sugar problems, inflammation, and it's a serious issue. Only blood can effectively tell you that. Uh, if you skip down, it's got a complete thyroid panel. It's got T3 total in it. But down at the bottom, another reason I love this panel, it includes vitamin D. And how many people are deficient in vitamin D? You know, everybody seems to struggle with maintaining optimal vitamin D levels. It's so simple. It's so cheap to test for this. But again, this is one of the things why, why I keep saying there's nothing like blood tests to build your nutrition practice and to build patient compliance. When somebody comes in and you do this standard comprehensive panel and they come back with really low vitamin D levels, there's no way they can argue with that. There's no way they can argue, no matter how skeptical they are, with the fact that they really need a vitamin D supplement because it's right there. They can't. Uh, argue with that black and white objective information. And there's so many examples like that with blood chemistry. Another reason I love using the standard comprehensive panel as the default go-to starting place is it has all of the information that you need to create a functional health report. So to be able to get this really amazing functional health report that we're going to dig into in just a minute, you've got to have enough blood test information to generate that report. And the standard comprehensive panel automatically contains all that. Now, we'll go into a little more of the specifics of what you do need to make that functional report. But to start with tonight, just remember, if you order the standard comprehensive panel, it will automatically give you everything that's necessary to populate that functional health report. So the functional health report, for most people, when I'm doing these seminars and I'm talking about Avexia, this tends to be people's favorite part where I literally see jaws drop in the audience. <laughs> and, you know, as a speaker, you know, you want to you wanna wow your audience with 
fun, exciting information. So I love that. And, and I'm so thankful to Avexia for that because it, it's, it's always fun to give your audience jaw-dropping information. And when I start showing them everything you can have access to in the functional health report, I wish I could see your jaws drop through the computer, but I'm just going to assume that it's happening. So the functional health report is actually based off of the research of Dr. Dickon Weatherby. Some of you, even if you haven't used Avexia, you're very familiar with that name. He's a naturopathic doctor, very well known as being one of the uh, most respected authorities on functional blood chemistry analysis and specifically nutritional correlations to blood tests. You know, how to use uh, nutrition for optimizing blood chemistry. That's really his specialty. And he's written multiple books that you see here very popular. I highly recommend these if you want to add to your library and really dig deep into your understanding of blood chemistry. I've never heard anybody have a complaint about these two resources. They're simple, but they're very effective at helping you gain a mastery of blood chemistry. But maybe you don't have time to do his certification course. He has a great blood chemistry certification course. You don't have time to read these books right now or listening to all his you know, great webinars that he's done on his website. So here's the beautiful thing. When you order that functional health report, you get a blood test back, you order the standard comprehensive panel and you get the blood test back and there's a button that you click that says order functional report. What will happen is you will automatically get Dr. Weatherby's brain <laughs> at your disposal analyzing with all of the algorithms he's put together for analyzing these blood test results and uh, looking not just at the normal ranges, but the optimal functional ranges, looking at different patterns of calcium phosphorus ratios, things like that. You get all of that analyzed instantly in the functional health report. And if you like simplicity like I do, there's nothing more simple than that. So here's what the functional health report looks like. And Again, we're not even going to be able to scratch the surface of everything that's included in it tonight, but I want to give you the big highlights. If it was just for this first section of the functional health report, it would be amazing in and of itself. And this is, this is the part of the functional health report that I rely on every single day in my practice for this one reason. There's a huge difference between the standard range, if you look to the right, you're going to see a column of the standard blood chem range. So this would be LabCorp or Quest, what they say is the normal range, right? But then to the left, what Dr. Weatherby's functional health report will do is go deeper and give you the optimal range. Now, we all know that the standard ranges aren't perfect because they're based off of a sicker and sicker American population. So we don't care about what the averages are of sick people. We want to know if we want to be optimally healthy, what should this blood test look like? So way up at the top, great example, glucose, fasting glucose. LabCorp won't flag glucose as being a problem till it gets above 99, till it gets to 100 or more. But in reality, if it's over 90, that's above the optimal range. And that's so important to know these differences. Now, this person, they have optimal glucose. You see there's no color flag on that. But then let's go down to insulin, a couple bars down. Now, th this is huge. And I say this over and over again in the seminars. If you do blood tests in your practice for no other reason than identifying insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, pre-diabetic situations, that's going to keep you busy every single day for the rest of your career. <laughs> it's just going to be the most common thing that you work with. And it's so simple and it's so rewarding because look at this. This person has major issues with carbohydrates with their insulin being high. But what are they going to hear from their doctor when they go in for a blood test? If, if the doctor is just looking at the glucose and the normal range, they're going to say, you're fine, you don't have a blood sugar problem. But this person's already developing trends to becoming pre-diabetic diabetic at some point. Now there is probably no better example of the dramatic difference 
between the standard lab core range for a blood test and the optimal range than this fasting insulin. Look at the standard range. Lab core won't flag it as being a problem till it gets over 19. But in reality, if your fasting insulin is over five, you're starting to get problems. You're losing control of how your body's processing carbohydrates. So what is that? That's a uh, fourfold, fourfold difference between the optimal range and the normal range. And that's why this functional health report is so important. Some of you have dropped out of using blood tests in your practice because you got tired of ordering blood tests that all came back normal. You know, you knew the person was really having problems, but everything looked completely normal. Well, again, this functional health report will really show you why that was the case. They weren't normal. It's just the standard ranges for the lab test are so ridiculously lenient that people look like the normal, but they're not. And we're going to see some more very dramatic examples of that. So insulin, uh, yellow is when, so this yellow color code means that it's not a crisis yet, but it definitely could be improved on. And I just want to give you a warning. You know, some of you are way overdue for getting your own blood test. And I tell doctors, if you're overdue for a blood test, you can't go wrong with the standard comprehensive panel, just starting right there. And I just got to warn you, so you don't get depressed or a panic attack, you're going to see a lot of yellow <laughs> on, your, on your functional health report. That's everybody. Everybody has areas that, you know, could, could be improved on. But what's a bigger concern is red. Red means it's actually outside of the normal lab range. So, so it's, a, it's a bigger deal. So you can see some of the examples of this. If you go down to the bottom, you see the bilirubin, the ALT, and the AST. So this person you know, has some liver issues going on, uh, definitely has some liver issues. And we're going to see the functional health report spells that out very clearly to you. It doesn't just color code these results, but it'll flat out tell you what these values mean and which ones are the biggest priority to look at. So this is the same, uh, by the way, um, this is the sample report that I uh, just took some highlights, did some, you know, captured some Im images of to put in the slides. This is from wholefoodpractice.com. If you go to wholefoodpractice.com, click on their Avexia section, you can click on their functional health report example, and this will go much deeper into some of these little highlights that I'm showing you here. Now, purple is the color you definitely don't want to see on your functional health report. You know, you got a nice little exclamation point there. Purple is the, you're in trouble, you need to turn this around now color. So this person has purple alert GGT. This is biliary. Uh, quite likely biliary obstruction. Uh, ferritin has reached the purple level, big time iron overload. Uh, then we go down and we see C-reactive protein is big time out of range. Homocysteine isn't uh, critically out of range, but definitely could be worked on, low vitamin D. So right here, just looking at this first section of the functional health report, it gives you an idea of what the biggest priorities are for this person. And we can see liver issues, iron overload, biliary obstruction are going to be the major, major priorities. Now, moving on, this is the same patient, is the functional health report. Keep in mind, I keep stressing, this is all for $5 extra that you get this report. And that just blows my mind. And I don't want to jinx it. And somebody from Avexia listening tonight will be like, oh, yeah, we should charge more for this. I No, I know they won't. But it, it just blows my mind that they're able to do this. $5. If you were going to, by the way, if you were going to have uh, Dr. Weatherby's ODX software, you know, that I can't remember what the exact monthly subscription is for that. But it's at least $100 per month to have the same information that you get for just $5 per report, you know, with Avexia. So the next part of this test is it'll actually prioritize the things that were the highest out of range. So you see at the top, the thing that was the biggest priority, far and away, 
higher critical alert out of range more than anything else was ferritin. And then it tells you the percentage of how far deviation from the optimal score. It's 515% higher than it should be. That, that's a big deal. GGT for biliary obstruction, 435% higher than it should be. C-reactive protein, 392%. Now, insulin, again, you see th it's 337% higher than it optimally should be. And this is so important for patient education and motivation. If they get their insulin tested, you know, just from LabCorp, it'll say it looks normal based on the LabCorp ranges. But you can show them from this functional health report, your fasting insulin is 337% higher than it optimally should be. This is why you got to cut the carbs. This is why you got to take metabolic complex for a while, you know, things like that. So this is a beautiful part of the functional health report. Now, this is a great two for one. Uh, one of the things I love about this functional health report is it not only tells you what the result or what's the biggest things out of range, it explains it. And this goes back to, again, one of the reasons I love Avexia, my favorite blood chem resource is for education, just for learning blood tests. Now, yes, these little descriptions about what the blood tests mean were written for the patient, but hey, I'll confess, I still rely on these descriptions a lot. If, if I see something come back that I don't see a lot, these simple little two, three sentence explanations of what the blood tests mean just beautifully tell you what you're looking at. So here again, we see the things that are the most out of range and order, ferritin, GGT, C-reactive protein, insulin, but then just a beautiful little explanation that you can print off for the patient to give them a recap of what's going on in their body. So you see ferritin, main storage form of iron, decreased levels are strongly associated with iron deficiency, increased levels, are, which this person has, are associated with iron overload, increasing the risk of cardiovascular disease, inflammation, and oxidative stress. And, and by the way, surprise, surprise, Turmeric Forte is one of our most important tools for this type of patient. And then you see GGT explaining uh, you know, that increased levels can be alcohol-induced, biliary obstruction, uh, on and on. It, and again, just a simple description of what the blood test means. C-reactor protein. I love I loved their little description for C-reactor protein because it doesn't just tell them that it means it's inflammation. It drives home to the patient how damaging and dangerous that high level of inflammation is in their body. So it says C-reactive protein is a blood marker that can help indicate the level of chronic inflammation. Increased levels are associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular disease, stroke, and diabetes. And that really gets patients' attention. You know, it's not just about their knee pain or their shoulder pain, why it's important to get that C-reactor protein down. It's about overall health, decreasing the risk of cardiovascular disease, stroke, uh, those types of things. The next part of the functional health report, <laughs> and I can already see some of your jaws dropping out there, but we haven't even gone through half of this report yet. It's gonna take all of that information, all of those Dr. Weatherby algorithms, and then it's gonna to put together just on one simple page, kind of a overview for the patient and yourself of the most likely imbalances that are happening. And it'll give you a percentage of likelihood on the right here. So because their GGT and their liver enzymes are high, they have a, 100% likelihood, that's pretty definitive, can't get higher percentage likelihood than that, 100% likelihood of a liver issue and a gallbladder issue. And I love that because this just, as a practitioner, you, you get a blood test back and you see so many things out of range and you're like, where do I start? This is such a great tool in the functional health report to show you that, you know, if you go down a little bit, yeah, they may have... Uh, some oxidative stress, there's a 46% likelihood of oxidative stress, 69% you know, uh, stress of blood sugar carbohydrates, but there's a 100% likelihood 
that we need to fix this liver and gallbladder. And that's a great luxury to have in your interpretation. <laughs> and again, the jaws will continue to drop. I love this part. Not only does it tell you, if we go back to the slide, it doesn't just tell you what the problem is and you know the percentage of likelihood of dysfunction in that area. It will give you the exact rationale from the blood test of how it came to that conclusion. So you see the number one thing for this person is their liver function, right? 100% dysfunction, highly likely, much improvement required. But look at this rationale. Everything you see here is what they had in their blood test that was out of range that built the case, you know, really built the proof, the evidence for knowing without a shadow of a doubt we've got a liver problem. So the high ALT liver enzyme, the high AST, the high bilirubin, the high cholesterol, the high iron, the ferritin, the bilirubin, the high GGT, a high RDW, high MCV, all those things were out of range. Uh, you know, that, that build the case for it. This is definitely a liver case. Same with the gallbladder. You go down before it. 100% likelihood of gallbladder. Why? Their GGT was high. Their cholesterol was high. Their liver enzyme ALT, bilirubin was high. So if, if you have a skeptical patient, this is great for overcoming that skepticism. The next section of the functional health report, again, for $5 extra, is the nutrient index section. So it'll actually analyze, even if you're not testing specific vitamins, like even if you're not testing B12 or, you know, vitamin C or zinc, you know, specifically, there's so many different clues from basic blood chemistry about specific vitamins and minerals. So it took all the information from this blood test and it tells you that 100% likelihood they've got vitamin deficiencies. And you can see what blood test proved there were vitamin imbalances. Number one, they had a high anion gap. Now, if you want more proof, and, and I talk a lot more about this in the blood chemistry course that I'm gonna show you at the end that we do with, uh, that, I, that I did for whole food practice. If you want proof that every single American patient needs Cataplex B Core, you're gonna see it with these two blood tests, the anion gap, in the homocysteine. You're gonna find that elevated with everybody that does this test. And the anion gap, when that's high, it often suggests a thiamine deficiency. Guess what our best thiamine whole food source is? Catabugs B core. Homocysteine elevated, folate, B12, B6. What's our best source of all of those? Catabugs B core. So, Again, you're going to see this with everybody, and it's going to be able, again, to prove to those skeptical patients that think they have a good diet, that think they're getting enough nutrients. No, you've got B vitamin issues. They also knew conclusively this person was vitamin D deficient, and because they have high MCV, uh, again, they know that there's some B vitamin imbalances going on with anemia. And then it breaks it down even more specifically. So based on all the information from this really comprehensive test, the functional health report can say with a 100% likelihood, they need vitamin D. So just simple cataplex D is gonna correct that. They have 100% because of all the inflammation, the iron overload, uh, all the those different factors, they have 100% need for more glutathione. And we have a lot of different tools to increase glutathione in the body. Guess what one of our best is? Turmeric Forte. You guessed it. Curcumin is one of the best tools to increase glutathione for, through multiple pathways in the body. And one of the biggest is because it activates NRF2, the master antioxidant. And when you activate NRF2, you automatically activate more glutathione production. We have other things like milk thistle. Now this person definitely needs milk thistle because they have liver issues and gallbladder issues. So something like milk thistle forte, 
would be a powerful tool to increase glutathione for this person. So simple things that pop out from the functional health report. They have a 71% likelihood of B12 and folate and thymine. Catapux B core, we'll cover that. They have a 43% likelihood of calcium, calcium lactate. 33% likelihood of selenium. So we could do that through something like Immuplex or Cataplex E. So I hope you're starting to see the possibilities of how this is gonna take your nutrition practice, no matter how well you know standard process products, how long you've been doing them. If you use this functional health report, it is the most profound tool to build your patient compliance, your nutrition revenues in your practice, but most importantly, just patient results. They're gonna get better when you do this report. So with, there's two different reports you can use, the patient report and the more in-depth practitioner report. And there's a lot of those things that overlap that are very similar in both of them. Everything that I've showed you so far is in both the patient report and the practitioner report. But when you click on the practitioner report, it's gonna give you some cool bonus tools. And one of them, how cool is this? It's gonna tell you uh, other blood tests to consider. So like with the biliary obstruction, it's gonna tell you the rationale of you know, why they came to that uh, test with the high GGT, the high bilirubin. Again, the same thing we, we saw from the other report. But then, well, let's see. Where was the one I was looking for? Yeah, then it's gonna give you the standard process product recommendations. So I'm doing this a little bit out of order because in the practitioner report, this is actually gonna be the first thing you see pop up on the practitioner report from the functional, on the functional health report is the standard process product recommendations. Now, you know, the, these aren't gonna be an absolute list that you're gonna follow this to the letter and give these exact protocols, but when you see something at the very, very top of the list, it's gonna be worth paying attention to because these products that are recommended are based on the lab tests that are the most out of range for that person. Now I will say, um, again, I mentioned this earlier, uh, one of the things uh, Chris and Melissa Taylor are doing is actually updating the functional health report. And we actually worked on this together a few months ago and it's gonna be updated pretty soon. One of the things you're gonna see in the new functional health report is instead of Cardio Plus being recommended as the primary most important cardiovascular risk reduction tool, it's actually gonna be Ceruta Plus because Cardio Plus, yes, is our most important heart muscle support product, right? It's got the heart protomorphogen for repair, rebuilding. It's got Cataplex E2 for oxygenation. It's got Cataplex G for vasodilation. But what you're going to find is our most important tool when you start doing these comprehensive panels and the functional health report, it's going to give you a deeper appreciation and obsession with buckwheat than ever before. And those of you that have been to my seminars, you know I get more and more obsessed with our buckwheat products like Ceruta Plus and Easy Mag. And uh, now we've got the new Glucose Assist that has buckwheat for blood sugar. And one of the reasons is because of the results that I kept seeing in the functional health report. Buckwheat juice is our most multi-purpose food grown on the standard process farm for the things that you find come back most frequently with these Avexia panels. Hi, it helps deal, it's our most important food for insulin resistance. Buckwheat is our most important food for inflammation reduction that's grown on the farm. It's our most important blood vessel healing product. That's what Royal Lee developed things like Ceruta Plus for, capillary fragility, bleeding gums, bruising easily, varicose veins. It's one of our most important immune products many antiviral factors in simple buckwheat juice. So when uh, I got together with Chris and Melissa a couple months ago, we made a really big emphasis on giving Ceruta Plus more respect in the, in the product 
uh, recommendations. And you're going to find it pop up to the top of the list with any of these cardiovascular. Uh, no shocker, when because this person has a lot of liver issues and biliary obstruction, Livaplex and beta food come up to the very top of the list. Tumor forte, surprise, surprise, because they had high inflammation, it's automatically geared in the functional report when somebody has high C-reactive protein or any inflammation marker, tumor forte is going to be the top inflammation product that comes up. But what's really cool about this functional health report, it's not just going to give you the most important inflammation tool like tumor forte. When you see the full report, it'll actually give you the secondary inflammation products like Boswellia complex, like our fish oils, things like that. So it goes so in depth. And it's not just a great tool for learning blood tests. It's a great tool for learning standard process because you just learn at a deeper level what these products do. <laughs> so again, it not only tells you what the product is that's recommended, but it gives you the exact rationale of why. So the number one thing that showed up with this person because of their inflammation, because of their iron overload, because of their insulin resistance is they've got a lot of cardiovascular risk, right? And so they tell you that's why they recommended Cardio Plus, Calamari, Ceruta Plus, and Turmeric Forte. Uh, great recommendations, but it's because their AST was high, cholesterol, triglycerides, LDL, ferritin, C-reactive protein, homocysteine, insulin, and their vitamin D was low. All of these things increase the risk for cardiovascular disease and the cardiovascular event. And you can show the patient this and say, this is why we're recommending these supplements because of these very specific blood tests that are showing up out of range. So again, that's just a brief uh, little overview of the functional health report. And if you have any questions uh, you know, about that, again, the customer service, whether it's through Joanne of the technicality of ordering or Dr. Sedano for actually how to interpret this, you've got so many resources at your disposal. And these are the things that you need to have included in your blood test to have enough information to create that functional health report. Again, that's why I love the standard comprehensive panel. It automatically includes all of these. Complete blood count, comprehensive metabolic panel, lipid panel, uh, ferritin and the iron factors, hemoglobin A1C, magnesium, and TSH. All of that's in the comprehensive panel. And just a little more about how I use this every single day and why it's so important to use this functional health report. Here's a 44 year old woman with fatigue. You know, she had been to multiple doctors and you know, they had done thyroid testing. And what did she hear? Your thyroid's fine because look up at the top. This is her lab core results. TSH is still within normal range, right? But when we ran the functional health report on her, you can see that TSH is quite a bit above the optimal range. So this is a big difference between the normal lab range and the optimal range. LabCorp or Quest doesn't flag TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone as being a problem till it gets over 4.5. In reality, if it's over three, you've got a thyroid issue that you need to address. That's a big, big difference. And besides that, her T4 is too low. She, she doesn't have enough thyroid hormone to work with. So we just gave her some iodine, trace minerals, B12, thytrophin, PMG. She got her energy back. And it was only the functional health report that could draw out those hidden root cause things that a normal lab test, you wouldn't have been able to identify. This is a great example. I can't think of a more profound example than this of how much this $5 functional health report can change your practice. This was a woman with really severe bowel pain, diarrhea, I think a little low grade fever too. We did a complete panel on her and here's her CBC differential where you would expect to find infection, right? What does it say? Everything's normal. 
white blood cells, normal, neutrophils, lymphocytes. So, you know, doctor said nothing's wrong. We ran that through the functional health report. And you can see, yeah, according to normal lab ranges, her white blood cells are fine, but optimally, her white blood cells are too high, which we know there's an infection process going on. And then down at the bottom, you see high neutrophils, low lymphocytes. That typically is the bacterial infection pattern. So yeah, she's got a bacterial infection, even though by normal ranges, it didn't show up. Now you can become a master in blood chemistry and get all of Dr. Weatherby's resources and memorize the difference between normal range or optimal range. But again, especially if you're new to blood chemistry, the functional health report will do all of that work for you. You don't have to remember any of those values. It's automatically calculated for you. When we ran uh, the, the second part of our functional health report, it said 100, based on those values, 100% likelihood of an immune problem, of an infection, basically. So look at, <laughs> that's a big, big difference between what LabCorp is saying. If we go back, LabCorp is saying, everything's fine, immune system's fine, nothing to see here. The functional health report with Dr. Weatherby's uh, stricter optimal ranges is saying 100% likelihood of an immune problem. So we put her on uh, Conjuplex, Zymex for intestinal flora, uh, gut flora complex to get that oil of oregano. She did great. Now, what I haven't even mentioned about the functional health report yet is the comparisons, the before and after. And I love this part. Number one, I love this because I'm very disorganized. I have a lot of troubles with organization. And, you know, in the olden days when I was ordering, before I had the functional health report, when I would order a follow-up blood test, you know, a year later or six months later, I'd be digging back through their chart, through their old blood test and, you know, try to pull them out and side by side, show the patient what's improved, what hasn't. Avexia does all of that for you. It stores all of that information. So here's somebody that had their blood checked in February, 2019. And then when we did a follow-up blood test, when we ordered a functional health report, it automatically gives you the comparison results. And this is such a luxury. Not only does it do that, <laughs> but how easy is this? To the right of that, you see a green thumbs up or a red thumbs down. If you want to make blood chemistry analysis as easy as possible, it doesn't get easier than this. If the blood test has improved, you get a green thumbs up. If it hasn't improved or got worse, you get a red thumbs down. I don't know any easier lab interpretation tool than that. I mean, everybody can work with that one, right? So this is a lady who came in with severe swelling, inflammation, joint pain. And surprise, surprise, we put her on turmeric forte, Ceruta Plus for buckwheat juice, and fish oil. Uh, those were the big things. And uh, from February to July, we, you know, her inflammation wasn't perfect, but we cut it in half. I mean, that's dramatic. That Just to show the patient how much change has happened, that's amazing to be able to do that. And by the time we did this, all the swelling was gone, pain was gone. Her homocysteine came down quite a bit from the red zone to the yellow zone, uh, because we also gave her whole food B vitamin support. I didn't give her any D supplementation, so that was the one area she didn't get better in. Uh, so this was just a reminder to me. It's a great little checks and balance. I told you, blood is so objective. Blood doesn't lie. And this was my reminder of, oh, I really need to get her on a vitamin D supplement, get her on you know, some catapults D. Her immune system improved. Her white blood cells went from the yellow range to the perfect range. Uh, and even her blood count, her hemoglobin and red blood cells improved just from giving her buckwheat juice. One of the things buckwheat is amazing for is chlorophyll, iron. It boosts hemoglobin. That's why you're going to see buckwheat in chlorophyll complex. So anything you give with a lot of buckwheat, uh, can't stress enough how many times you're going to be using our buckwheat products for the things you find in the functional health report. And this is just one example. 
The buckwheat juice helped get her inflammation down uh, and help uh, with her white blood cells and with her hemoglobin. And again, in her functional health report, it just gave a simple explanation to her of exactly what it meant with her C-reactive protein being high and her homocysteine being high. Uh, by the way, <laughs> talk about how powerful the functional health report can be. Because this worked so well with this patient, I, uh, you know, and she could see these dramatic improvements, not just in how she felt, but in actually this before and after blood test, she actually works in her office now. And that was from a combination of just being able to show this before and after and the power of the tools we have like Tumor Forte and Ceruta Plus. Okay, here's a, now granted, this is not your maybe everyday example, but it's little scary how common this can be. And again, how high the insulin can get with your patients. This is the most under tested blood test that's out there. And I just chose this patient as an example of what a game changer it can be with patients where you're just not getting the results you want. It could be just from this insulin resistance that's not being addressed. So this is a guy that he really wasn't very overweight. You wouldn't have thought that he had massive blood sugar issues. Pain, joint pain and swelling was, those were his big issues that he was contending with. So, you know, I knew we were gonna give him turmeric and fish oil and, uh, you know, something with buckwheat, ceruta, but I did the standard comprehensive panel just to see if there was anything else going on. And was there ever, look at his fasting insulin. It is 10 times higher than the optimal range. And he earned the color that we don't want, the alarm purple color. So how great is this? You can show the patient, you know, he just wanted pain relief, but you could show him that the root foundational driver of your pain is your carbohydrate problem. And yes, we've got some great supplements that are gonna get inflammation down, but you've really gotta get the carbs and sugar down if you wanna get maximum relief. So he did, went on a low carb diet, took some basic supplements, got completely out of pain. And I couldn't have, I couldn't have driven that point home as effectively if I didn't have this dramatic color-coded functional health report to do that. Now, Another thing uh, that we've got programmed into the functional health report with the product recommendations is that when you have a patient like that with insulin being high or hemoglobin A1C or triglycerides or glucose, the number one thing that's gonna come up to the top of the list is metabol complex. So not every patient you work with that's got, you know, carb issues or insulin resistance, they're not all going to need metabol complex. But when you see a patient like this, where insulin is through the roof or triglycerides are out of control, blood sugar out of control, hemoglobin A1C, all those different things, there's nothing more aggressive, more uh, or a stronger product than metabolic complex to go after that issue uh, quickly. And now from standard process, we're gonna be combining that with the new glucose assist. So that's something we're gonna have to uh, update in the functional health report as well. But glucose assist just came out you know, a couple of weeks ago, but it's gonna be one of our strongest insulin resistance tools and especially for minimizing a blood sugar spike after a meal. But for now, he's still great product recommendations because Metabol is the number one thing that shows up in these product recommendations. And again, it won't just tell you uh, that Metabol is the most important blood sugar insulin resistant supplement. It will tell you exactly why. Why did Metabol Complex come to the top of the list of product recommendations? Because this person had high glucose, high hemoglobin A1C, high insulin, and low HDL cholesterol. That's the average American you're looking at right there. That's, you know, what you're, again, if you do blood tests for no other reason in your practice, then for this specific pattern, high blood sugar, high hemoglobin A1C, high insulin, 
low HDL, high triglycerides, you're going to see that all the time. And then it combines Metabol with Diaplex, which is a beautiful, comprehensive blood sugar product. So again, with these product recommendations from Avexia, it's not an absolute, you know, you have to go by the book of uh, exactly what products are recommended, but it gets you thinking in the right direction. When you see Metabol is listed as the highest scored supplement for that person, you know you better give them something for blood sugar, even if it's not Metabol complex. And that's a can't go wrong way to use that report. So all of that is, uh, you know, I hope that whets your appetite for using the functional health report. But going back again to the standard comprehensive panel, one of the reasons I love that as my baseline panel is it's, it's such a great foundation that you can add any test you want to to the comprehensive panel. So in the right, you see my shopping cart that I've got going for this patient. And I've already got the standard comprehensive panel in my shopping cart. So $143, but then down at the bottom, you're gonna see that not only do you have a lot of custom Avexia panels uh, that, I mean, you're just, it's gonna blow your mind when you see what's out there, but you also have the complete LabCorp menu at your disposal. Every single LabCorp test, 1,338 to be exact, you can add, custom make anything you want and add it to the standard comprehensive panel or any panel that you do for that matter. So none of these things are fixed, set in stone. There's so much flexibility. And we're gonna see at the end tonight that if you don't like these panels, you can make your own. You know, there's a, a custom panel generator that you can make any combination of blood tests that you want. But what I do all the time to keep things simple is I'll use the standard comprehensive panel as my general foundation but then when I know they need one or two tests added to that, I just go to the lab core menu and click that. So in this case, testosterone. So we can get, <laughs> how great is this as a selling point for lab tests for your patients? We can get both total and free testosterone for $20. Now there's a lot of testosterone options, but uh, if you just want to get total testosterone, it's $10, but total plus free is $20. And then you see another one total uh, plus free, or I'm sorry, yeah, free direct with total $27. So many different options, but that's so much less than any other service that's out there. So I'm going to use that as a little segue for one of our most powerful new tools for balancing blood chemistry. And I may have to actually update our top 10 in, in the whole food practice blood chemistry course that we do, we talk about the top 10 standard process Mediherb supplements for balancing blood chemistry. We may have to update that to put Tonkatalium because hands down, this is our most powerful, simple, bankable tool for testosterone. And it deals with so many different aspects of why testosterone can get too low. So just gonna hit some of the highlights about one of the, didn't know that audio on there. I, uh, on the functional health report, let me see if it still plays the other one. There we go. So this is a great example of, again, why that functional health report can bail you out every single day in practice. Look at the difference between normal testosterone and optimal. So this guy, granted, he has a lot of problems besides just testosterone, but to talk about Tong Kata Lee, this is a great example. If you go to his total testosterone, go to all the way to the right, and you're gonna see LabCorp doesn't flag testosterone as being too low till it gets below 264. Optimally, look at what the optimal minimum level of testosterone is, 700. That is a huge, huge discrepancy. So one of the things I'm going to challenge you to start doing blood uh, tests regularly in your practice is you're going to find the vast majority of your middle-aged men test way, way below the optimal level of testosterone. So as 
here he's 400, so his doctor would have said, yeah, you're fine. It might be a little low, but you're okay. But then, check this out. Free testosterone, LabCorp, uh, or the, the functional health report flagged it as being critically low. So uh, LabCorp says that free testosterone shouldn't be below 9.3. His is 5. So this is why you really, even if somebody says, oh, yeah, I've already been, you know, tested, my testosterone was okay. When you're testing, you know, any middle-aged older man, always include total and free testosterone. Because it's going to surprise you what you find, both with the total and the free testosterone. Now, one of the things Avexia will do that LabCorp doesn't, it'll take the total testosterone, the free testosterone, and then it'll calculate right below that the bioavailable testosterone. So kind of like the snapshot when it's all said and done, what's your testosterone status? And <laughs> he's in big trouble. His is 12.53. Uh, it shouldn't be below 40. Big, big difference. So again, the importance of that functional health report, if he just got his total testosterone checked, the doctor would have said, you're fine. It's 400. That falls within the lab core normal range. This is a classic example of somebody who needs Tonkata Lee. So those of you that haven't used that yet, um, I'm going to predict that Tonkata Lee is going to become the second best-selling Mediherb supplement at some point. And especially now that more and more of us are going to be using these Avexia panels and testing for testosterone, we see how common low testosterone is. We're going to be using lots and lots of Tonkata Lee. Uh, this is a very potent extract. And, you know, we, a lot of you listening, you're already familiar with tribulus and things like Korean ginseng and ashwagandha, Simplex M, Orchex. These are all great tools from Standard Process and Medierb. But nothing has more research, more reliability, and more multi-purpose benefits for male endocrine health than Tonkata Lee. And again, bankable before and after results. So this is a herb actually from Malaysia, and it's been used for hundreds of years in Malaysia, but it's really only become popular in you know the last five years is when it's really exploded in the US. And uh, one of the big reasons is uh, Andrew Huberman, he was on the Joe Rogan podcast, and he basically, you know, he's one of the foremost experts in natural testosterone enhancement. And he said, Tom Cotterly is the most effective natural substance. And right after that, Tom Cotterly just exploded. And Mediherb just, you know, they had already been looking at supplying a Tom Cotterly supplement, but they just wanted to make sure they found the highest quality, best extract for us to use. So benefits, very versatile. Um, and not just for libido, erectile dysfunction, but just physical endurance. You're going to find a lot of studies uh, for physical stamina, middle-aged, older men. And speaking of the studies with it and the multi-purpose, um, if you go to PubMed.gov and you just put, you know, uh, Tom Cotterly and see all the different studies that have been done on it, one of the biggest reasons I'm going to recommend you make this the go-to herb for any low testosterone issue is because it doesn't just increase testosterone. You're going to see on the second study, it lowers cortisol. So one of the biggest things that's sabotaging testosterone in men is stress, elevated cortisol, you know, sleep deprivation, overwork, poor diet, you know, all these different things. So Tonkata Lee, again, to the versatility, it's a stress management and testosterone enhancement herb, and the studies all show that. So there's a, there's a lot of things that aren't as clear cut with this with blood chemistry, but this is an easy one. Whenever you find low testosterone, you're always, always going to want to use Tonkata Lee. And the dose is low, uh, you know, two tablets a day. So this was the panel that I mentioned uh, before that Joanne uh, made for us when a doctor said, hey, I'm using this, you know, I'd love to use Avexia, but, you know, they don't have this thyroid panel that I love, and it's got all these things in it. It's a great price at $265. So I called Joanne and said, hey, what can we do with this? 
again, two days later, she created this panel for us, the standard comprehensive thyroid panel. Phenomenal, phenomenal value. So it's got pretty much everything from the standard uh, comprehensive panel, plus a lot of extra thyroid tests. And the most important being the thyroid antibodies are included on it, the TPO antibodies. And this would be the uh, most specific blood test for thytrophin PMG, our thyroid protomorphogen. So again, I can't stress that it, there's so many of these blood tests that we have at our disposal to prove to yourself and to the patient the need for it. And when you start doing these thyroid antibody tests, you're gonna see so many people have these antibodies, autoimmune problems with their thyroid, and that thyroid protomorphogen is the only natural substance that's gonna directly downregulate that immune system attack against the thyroid. And it's a great thing included in this panel. Standard cardiovascular panel, this is really the last big panel I wanted to highlight, uh, 171. This is a lot of things from the standard comprehensive panel, but very in-depth cardiovascular risk factors included as well. And one of those things is, that's so important for today's insulin resistant metabolic population is cholesterol particle size. You know, you've got people with cholesterol hysteria out there and they may or may not have a real cholesterol problem. The standard cardiovascular panel is the ultimate test that will either give them peace of mind or scare the heck out of them to change their diet and lifestyle. Because one of the things it shows is whether or not they have dangerous small cholesterol particle size or the large, buoyant, not dangerous. Now, if you wanna order this cholesterol particle size separately, it's $50 separate, but it, I recommend just going all out with the standard cardiovascular panel. If your biggest thing you're trying to assess is cardiovascular risk factors, you cannot beat this panel. This is probably about $2,000 worth of blood tests all wrapped up in this. So again, you're gonna have a much deeper appreciation when you do these panels, when you do the functional health report of these supplements that you're already in love with, but you're gonna see them pop up more and more, more and more applications. The power of these for before and after uh, when you do this, the proof is in the pudding. These are some of the key tools that we use day in and day out to make these really dramatic before and after improvements. Oh, I can't help it. I got to talk about one more panel that Avexia put together for us. This one I just want to talk about as the ultimate example of price breaks. And this is called the standard bone health panel. It's got so many different things, including a complete hormone panel, estrogen, testosterone. What I wanted to show you with this one is you may remember from years ago that they used the bone health daily fundamentals actually in a study with one of the things tested in here, the collagen's cross-link, uh, it's a urine test that shows you whether you're losing bone faster than you're rebuilding bone. It's a great test. And it's a, it, they used the bone health daily fundamentals very successfully in that. So I just wanted to show that uh, that's a great panel to identify our two easiest bone density solutions, the bone health daily fundamentals and the parathyroid supplement, Calma Plus. And again, all of that was just scratching the surface. I really encourage you to check out all of the custom panels of Vexia's had long before they built this bridge in relationship with standard process. And like I said, if you wanna go even deeper and you wanna make your own panel, there's the custom panel creator. Uh, I've never done this because I just find that everything I need is in the custom panels that they've already made for us. So we mentioned whole food practice uh, is such a phenomenal resource going forward, not just with blood chemistry education, but really their complete certification course, applied clinical nutrition course, uh, and their staff certification, nutritional clinical assistant. All of your favorite speakers are gonna be showcased on Whole Food Practice. Lee Carroll, Mark Anderson, Rhonda Nelson. Even if you don't do the clinical nutrition program, 
just for deepening your knowledge of standard process Royal Lee history. This is my favorite website for all of the standard process education. It's really the best kept secret in standard process, what they have to offer, but I hope it's not a secret any longer. And they have a today only, I'm sure that means tomorrow also, seminar sampler uh, that you can get of just a little taste of all the different education they have available. One of my courses, Mark Anderson's, the great Lowell Keppel, Keith Kimberlin. So check out what they have to offer. Again, Whole Food Practice is just as comprehensive in the realm of standard process education as Avexia is for blood testing. And what I really focus on in this course that's gonna be available very soon, I just have to wrap up one little piece of it, but it's really gonna focus more on the top 10 standard process products for balancing blood chemistry. And the thing that I have to tweak on it is giving Tong Kata Lee a bigger shout out for testosterone. So with that, we're gonna open it up for any questions. If I can't answer the question, we've got uh, both Joanne and Dr. Sedano on standby. So Joanne, what do we got? Wonderful, Dave, thank you for just the great presentation. Um, the first question we have, and I guess we could throw this, I think we should throw this to Dr. Sedano. Um, first question asked, how long should clients fast prior to a lab draw? Usually eight hours or an overnight fast and make sure that they're adequately, adequately hydrated. So great. Um, right there. That's, that's what we have at our disposal. What you just witnessed right there is we have Dr. Sedano available to email with any question like that. How long should I fast? And you get a free reply like that. So great that that question came up right away. Another question, uh, Colaplex is always recommended for cholesterol in the functional health report. Do you use that or do you recommend something else? Um, that's one of the changes we're making in the functional health report where it's gonna be a little lower uh, in the recommendation because buckwheat juice like Ceruta Plus, all of our buckwheat products are gonna be higher uh, on the list than Colaplex. Thank you. All yeah, right, Dave, here's, here's another one. Joanne, can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Yeah, just real quick. Yeah, I just wanted to, uh, uh, this is something that, a little clinical pearl, just to leave some of the clinicians with, that a, a lot of folks don't know. They're looking as far as fasting blood tests. Of course, we think insulin, you know, t eight to 12 hours, make sure you're adequately hydrated. But there's a lot of other tests, and I'll run through them, you know, in, in 10 seconds. You got your blood glucose, the GGT, liver function test, renal test, vitamin B12, the lipid profile, of course, even thyroid function tests, particularly TSH and iron panel tests, all of those require fasting. You don't hear a whole lot about it, um, but yeah, if you don't know really what to do, you know, as far as fasting, just, you know, fast or not fasting, do everything fasting. Anyway, there you go. Thank you. Um, okay, I think we still have time for just a few more and then we can um, take all the rest of those questions and be sure to get back with you all. Uh, what do you recommend when a patient has abdominal pain when takes a turmeric forte and they've tried just taking one a day with or without food? Uh, the patient is trying to be compliant in taking but doesn't feel well after taking this. Uh, it, you know, the turmeric forte is such a concentrated product that <laughs> can happen with, with mild digestive upset. Usually just taking it with food is the answer. I had one patient, I had to use a combination of chlorophyll complex as a soothing agent, you know, along with turmeric forte and, and that completely resolved it. So uh, that's what I'd recommend using something like gastrix or chlorophyll complex and they should have no issue at that point. Great. Um, I guess there'll just be a few other questions, but if they come up along the way, uh, folks, you can contact Avexia Diagnostics by email at info at avexiadiagnostics.com. We are also here Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, our phone number is 888 852 
uh, 2723. For any of you that do not have a, a, an account with us, a couple really easy ways. Uh, you can log into Avexi on the right-hand side. If you're interested but don't want to sign up yet, there's an area where you can sign up to view credentials, or basically uh, trial credentials are sent to you, which will give you access to look over the test menu, the client resources se uh, section, see a whole section on the functional health report, the marketing solutions, more on Dr. Sedano and Ask the Doctor. So you can sign up as a trial. Um, otherwise, you can go right to avexiadiagnostics.com. There's a clinician login. Uh, as, as David said, the discount code is standard. It does waive the, uh, the enrollment fee. There is no enrollment fee. Uh, we do have a $50 annual client participation fee. With that, of course, you get those great services, marketing solutions, the functional health report with your logo, standard process products, all the support from Dr. S uh, Sedano, um, and just a whole staff here that's going to be able to support you. So um, I guess I'm just going to say thank you, Dr. Hogshead and Dr. Sedano, for this informative presentation. A recording of this webinar will be available by email in the next few days. Thank you again for joining us for this webinar. Until next time, from everyone at Avexia Diagnostics, stay healthy, uh, stay safe, and we wish you all the best on your pathway to wellness. Good night, everybody, and thank you.